Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. My bangs are finally long enough to be in a butterfly clip. Isn't that amazing? Amazing y'all. All right, I'm on with a couple of tips for my medical team and I think they're amazing and I think they're gonna be life-saving for you and I'm so excited to share it with you. The first is take a look at this. I want you to look very carefully at the label, okay? It's the one that says 100% grease, removes grease, disinfectant, multi-purpose cleanser. It looks like it's a kitchen cleanser. Okay, so my medical team told me this kills COVID and to look for it because that other people aren't looking for it because it's not a specialty cleaner. Well, y'all, guess what? On the back label, it says specifically, it kills the human coronavirus. It's been tested and it works. So any of you that I want you to go, if you don't have a Walmart or a Target, I got mine at a Duane Reed, which is the same as a CVS. It was $3.96, so it is cheaper than getting the rest of our supplies, and it kills COVID. So if you can't get rubbing alcohol, or you can't get, um, you know, something like a microban, which is expensive, y'all get this. This kills COVID. This is all we need, and go and get it before people figure that out. Okay, go and get it. So look at the label again, and mine right on the back says kills human coronavirus. So, okay, so this is what, this was one of the recommendations. The other one that they're recommending, we can't get here. And they did tell me that, but they shared it so I could share it with you. Clorox has a new product. I put it on the thumbnail, a photograph of it. It's called a fabric sanitizer. Folks, you can use this for COVID. It's a really great product if you can get it. My doctor tells me it's like perfect because you can spray it on your purse. So like I have one purse I use throughout this whole time and I have to clean this purse. I have destroyed it. I mean, it's crazy what you have to do. You can use it on your sneakers. Right now when I come in the house, I take off my sneakers. I wear one pair only out of the house and I clean the bottoms with bleach and I have to leave them by the front door. This spray, you could spray your sneakers. You could spray your purses. I wouldn't have to wash my baseball hat every time I wear it. You can spray your clothes. It kills COVID. Now it's made by Clorox. Take a look at the thumbnail again. I can't get it. People in New York City can't get it. But any of you who live near a Walmart Supercenter or a Target, I want you to go look for it. It's in the laundry aisle. Again, there's two kinds of it. One is an aerosol can and one is like a laundry detergent. Now, some people are buying the laundry detergent because it guarantees that it kills COVID on your face masks and your clothes. My doctor says as long as you're washing your clothes with laundry detergent, it should be okay. But the aerosol is what you want. You can use that on your purse. You can use it on your pillow. You can use it on your baseball hat. You need to go get this. If you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. It's vital. And I really appreciate my medical team for sharing this. While I was out, I was able, they just got these in in our local CVS, but there's a limit of one per person. So I asked some strangers to help me and explain that I was sent, I needed it for other people in other states. I was only able to get three y'all, and I'm really sorry. I'll take a look at the people who asked for it on We Wishes, and I'll get it out to three people randomly. We are going out again tomorrow to get the rest of my supplies, and I will have one of the kids with me at least, if not two. I will try to get more of these. The manager wasn't happy I was buying these for other people, but listen, too bad. I'm going to do my best. I'm not hoarding for myself. I, I'm buying them to send to other people. So um, hopefully we can get more of these if they're not already sold out, but at least we got three all. That's something. There's only 20 in the pack, but it's better than nothing. I got an amazing package from Michelle Bastian. She ordered me these supplies two months ago and they finally came in. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Even if you can find somewhere to order Lysol from, it's likely a two-month wait. I'm going to recommend order it now. Order it now so you have it. I know it's expensive. Listen, all of this kills all of our budgets. But what's it worth to save our lives? Really, what is it worth to save our lives? Michelle ordered me some nitrile masks for all my medical appointments. Thank you. There's a reason why when I go to medical appointments, I have to wear a nitrile glove. It's not important for you to know. It's just... I'm not allowed to, to wear these to a medical appointment. I have to wear these. Um, and But these, which I gave out mine to send out to the Florida packs, but Michelle replaced them, thank you. These are for when things like my packages come in or I go to take out the garbage. 
um, things like that. These are wonderful. If you can still get these at your dollar store, I would suggest you get them, y'all. Going out in, at least in an urban area like Miami, Seattle, um, San Francisco, you're like New York, you, you should get these. If you're in a more um, less urban area where you're not right next to people when you're putting out your garbage, it's much less risky. But anyone in an urban area, you need these. You really need these. Um, and you know that if you can get them at your dollar store, snatch them up, y'all. Just snatch them up because you're going to need them. And we don't know how long this is going to go on for. So don't be embarrassed to buy five, six packages. You know, that's not going to last that long. So Michelle sent some of that. I think that Miss Belinda must have told her I sent her my hand sanitizer because Michelle replaced it. So we can get hand sanitizer here again. But most of the time, y'all, it's under 70%. And my doctor says that if it's under 70%, it's useless. Don't even buy it. So I did have some hand sanitizer that was over 70% brand new, but I still had some left as you all know. I used the one Miss Ebony sent me. I told you I've got one that I take out of the house, one that I keep in the house. Um, I still had a bit left in the other bottle and I was worried Belinda didn't have. So I just sent it to her. And I think Belinda, you must have told Michelle because she replaced my sanitizer, y'all. So thank you so very much, Michelle. And, you know, really everything you put in there was amazingly thoughtful. She sent me some extra masks, um, cloth masks, because she knows the other day, y'all, I don't know, it, it's, I just, I ran out of masks because, you know, you have to wash them every time you wear them. And I had gone to the doctor, then I had to go to the pharmacy, then I came back in and then a package arrived. And I forget what the last thing was, but I was out of masks and a neighbor came to the door and I had to say, I'm sorry, I can't answer it because I don't have any. So Michelle sent me some extra and I really appreciate it. It just, it takes a little bit of the pressure off. Tonight, my washing machine broke again. I, my husband thinks I've become this like super handy person. I fixed the washing machine again, y'all, because if that thing breaks, I can't wash my masks. So like I've become really resourceful. It's, it's a bit insane. Um, I'm handy as y'all know, but I'm not that handy, but you know, what is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. Oh yeah. When you got to get it done, you get it done. But Michelle, that took some pressure off. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Now on to some fun stuff. Y'all look at this tray of happiness. It's my first flat back order from Ali y'all. All right. So I'm super excited. I got these butterfly centers look at these y'all they're purple pink iridescent gemmy ones for my butterflies uh, one of the things for my swap with Kayla came so these are for the embellishments for Kayla's embellishments they're holographic look at these gorgeous materials now I thought they'd be a bit puffier like our puffy heart so I was a little bit disappointed but they're still super cute y'all so I'm happy about those um, these are going to be really hard for you to see the detail on why I ordered them because they probably just look like regular centers for my bows, but actually they're, if you see them up close, besides being very pretty, they're like rocks, you know, like the ones at Michael's in North America. For those of you in North America, they're like rough rocks, kind of like an amethyst stone when it's been cut. So I really love them. So they're really pretty and I got them in a wide variety of colors. This is my first, unfortunately, I know some of you wanted resin, but this is all I got, y'all. Um, and it's Mermaid Holographic Tails. And then I got these teeny little jemmies, teeny little jemmies that with sparkles in them. And I got these pink glittery hearts for bows, again for my swaps. And then these are going to look super tacky. I know that. And when I looked at them, I knew they looked super tacky, but I think I know how to make them look good. So they're flower centers, y'all, look. And you can't tell my camera, but, so the gold is what's tacky, it's too bright. But I can tone that down with mixed media projects. But what I like is that the piece around the middle jemmy is iridescent-y. So like this one's purple, they have blue, all different ones. So I thought if I just tone down that tacky gold, they'll be super pretty as floral centers. So those came in. I know, not a huge thing, but considering I've been waiting for these since March, I'm super excited, super excited. All right, so I laughed today because y'all know I was so upset with that cottage cuts die. Um, but I had also ordered 
three others and they came but these I, I knew they were one piece um, these are minis and I knew they were one piece so that's a Halloween house and it's only two inches for embellishments how cute is that so you see I expected that to be one piece so I'm not disappointed really cute right for mini embellies and then the other one is like that but it's for Christmas and it's the same thing it's two inches look at it it's for embellishments but it's one piece and then the last one is like a winter scene same thing with deer super cute so those came and that is everything y'all that is all everything I am far from being done I have been going since I got up and I am nowhere near finished for tonight uh, it is already 11 and I am not going to be in bed before 2 a.m. or 3. So don't expect to see me first thing in the morning. I have a deadline for something and it has to be there by the morning. So regardless, I got to get it done. And I have, it took me hours to clean everything. So I had to go to the pharmacy and get medicines. I had to go grocery shopping. I went looking for things like this. I, you know, other things like the fantastic, I, this. I want you guys to all go get this before people figure this out. Um, and I'm not being cruel. It's just I want you guys to be protected. And this is not expensive and it, and it actually kills the coronavirus. This is going to be life-saving, y'all. Um, so I want to make sure that you go out and get those supplies. But I, it took me over an hour to clean everything when I got home, y'all. So I am far from done. And that doesn't even include any of the mail I want to package up for tomorrow. So I don't think I'm getting to bed before 3. So do not expect a video first thing in the morning unless it is pre-recorded because I don't think I'll be getting up early. Um, this is a lot to get ready. And then I'm going to try to get my hair cut and maybe my nails done tomorrow. I don't know if the haircut's going to happen. If he won't wear a mask, no haircut. But at least my nails will, will be done. Last but not least, y'all, um, a member of our crafty community needs our prayers and our wishes. I know you saw, I'm sure, Susan's video earlier today. Carrie Martin's Craft Emporium, who has been here from the start, pretty much. Y'all remember her gorgeous tag in the Holy Land with that beautiful pink cheesecloth. It was like a mix of mixed media, meets grunge, meets shabby. Folks, her family's been affected with COVID. And I was... It's another hard one for me, y'all. She's, she's part of our, our close net of girlfriends that talk every day. And, and it's hard for anybody. You know... I'm a sensitive person. I would get this upset if it were any of you. Um, but this is someone I chat with every day. Every day. And it, uh, she and her family have unfortunately contracted COVID. So uh, please, please uh, keep her care in your prayers. Please keep her entire family in, her, in your prayers. And you know something, y'all? She was super careful. You think I'm crazy about the bleaching and the cleaning? Mm-mm. She took every single precaution, y'all. So there are things we don't know about this virus because she's even more, more careful than I am. I really want to make sure that, you know, everyone is doing the best thing that they can. Please go get this, y'all. And uh, for those of you that want to send Carrie a card and her family a card or a happy mail, I'm going to put Pat's email down below and I'm going to ask you to, to maybe coordinate it through Pat just because we don't want to make life harder for her. Um, and Pat probably has a better idea of how to facilitate this than I do, especially since over the next few days I'm going to be inundated. But folks, we, we need to send some support her way. You know, it's a, it's a tough time for us all. It's a heartbreaking time. And it's real hard when another member of our community is affected. So we're just going to keep working together to stay safe. And we're going to keep working together to support the people in our community who unfortunately have contracted COVID or their family has, and we're gonna lend as much support as we can, y'all. So please keep Carrie and her family in your thoughts and prayers, please. Continue praying for Marcy, you know, and Chloe, and for Miss Sheila. We just gotta all band together, y'all. We gotta band together and stay safe together and help each other through this. That, again, that message of unity could not, if there was ever a time when we need to unite, it's now. You know, I had no shame asking strangers today to do this, right? And I think that that's what we have to do. I think there's a time for humility, like I said. Like, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just not. But I'm also, you know, I'm not shy now to say, can you buy these for me? Because we have to do what we can. 
We just have to do what we can, y'all. All right. Keep my good friend Carrie, please, in your thoughts and in your prayers, and Marcy, and Chloe, and Miss Sheila. And keep the land in your prayers, too. You know, being on chemo is no joy ride at any time, and certainly not during COVID. A big thank you to Michelle Bastian, and I'll see y'all at some point tomorrow, likely very late in the day. If I'm going to be up till very late, your girl's going to have to get some sleep at some point. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.